Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. The message I heard is, you give him enough. The scripture comes from Song of Songs 5 and 2. I was sleeping, but my heart kept vigil. I heard my lover knock knocking. Open to me, my sister, my beloved, my dove, my perfect one. For my head is wet with dew, my locks with the moisture of the night. I have taken off my robe. Am I then to put it on? I have bathed my feet. Am I then to soil them? My lover put his hand through the opening. My heart trembled with me, and I grew faint when he spoke. I rose to open my lover with my hands dripping myrrh, with my fingers dripping choice myrrh up on the fittings of the lock. I opened to my lover, but my lover had departed gone. I sought him, but I did not find him. I called to him, but he did not answer me. The watchmen came upon me as they made their rounds of the city. They struck me and wounded me and took my mantle from me. The guardians of the walls, I adjure you, daughters of Jerusalem. If you find my lover, what shall you tell him? That I am faint with love. Okay, so this is a message to someone. You are feeling as though you are in a position to where maybe you're in a relationship to, with someone that is it's almost like they're treating you like you're not good enough they're treating like you're not you like you're not enough they treat you as if you are doing something wrong it's like you're always fighting over nothing you feel like you're always getting into it and you don't understand why. Like, you don't understand what the frustration is coming from, where the problems are coming from. You don't understand why they are feeling this way. God's saying that, that you give them enough. It is not a situation where there is something wrong with you. It's not a situation where you are doing something wrong. It's not a situation where you are just this awful person. You give them enough. Just like in the scripture to where out of nowhere they were gone. Okay? Out of nowhere. I called to him, but he did not answer me. I saw him, but I did not find him. I opened to my lover, but my lo lover had departed and gone. This is a situation uh, with somebody your lover wants to leave. Okay? And um, this may be coming before and it may come after. This is a message to somebody. This person wants to leave. This person wants out this relationship. God is not telling me why this person wants out this relationship. God is just simply telling me that it is not your fault. You didn't do nothing wrong. You treated them right. Um, like you, you gave them the best. Like, I, I just feel like I hear the song, um, you give good love. Like you, like you are... You are such a wonderful person. And, you know, you don't deserve the heartbreak that this person is putting up on you. You don't deserve the pain that this person is putting you through. You don't deserve to feel abandoned. You don't deserve to feel as so empty. You don't deserve to feel as if you are worthless because that is not true. Just because this person did not see the worth in you does not mean that you are not worth anything. Just because this person does not see how amazing you are does not mean that you are any less amazing. It simply means that this person did not see. It simply means that it was not meant for this person. I feel like for somebody, you know, it's like maybe in reality, you and this person were not really a match. Maybe you thought y'all were a match. You fell in love with this person. You thought they were the one for you. And they just um, woke up one day and decided that you were not the one for them. And it's nothing wrong with that. You know, um, you know, I do feel like it's very hurtful the way that this person did it. But, you know, at the same time, you have to think about it. Like, how do you just tell somebody oops, sorry, I thought you were the one for me, but now I think that you're not. It's like kind of hard to say that, especially when you're saying that to someone who has who is doing nothing wrong, somebody who is literally um, doing everything right. How do you tell someone who does no wrong that you don't want to be with them because you are not like because like you don't have they don't have a because they have no excuse as to why they don't want to be with you um 
it could very well be a situation where this person may be in love with somebody that hurt them. They may be in love with somebody else. They may want somebody else. They may have always saw themselves with somebody else. Maybe they were using you. It like I don't know what it is that it could possibly be, but I just feel like God is saying, in reality, they don't have no excuse. They have no excuse as to why they hurt you. They have no excuse as to why they are treating you wrong. They have no excuse as to why they are making you feel the way that they are making you feel. But that's okay. Because God said, you did everything that you could in your power to make that relationship work. And if that person decides that they don't want to make that relationship work, it's on them. If that person, like, you know... The Bible says that until someone commits adultery, you are not free from marriage. And this is the truth. And you know, um, I just feel like for somebody, you know, in a situation like this, you could very well be in the midst of a situation where this person has committed adultery and they just haven't openly said it yet you may not have found out it could not be in a actual act like physical maybe it's just uh emotional maybe they are emotionally in another relationship maybe they have emotionally adult been <laughs> committed emotional adultery like they have um started to work up a relationship with someone else behind your back and now they are emotionally detached from you okay now they have decided that they they are going to withhold their love from you so that they can give it to somebody else. And you know that's so hurtful. I like it hurts to say it. You know it hurts to say it, especially in this situation where God is saying you didn't do nothing wrong. You didn't do nothing wrong. And you know, I know whoever is watching this video you know you probably want me to say oh god is gonna do this to them god is gonna do that to them and i feel like god does not want you to focus on what he's gonna do to them like understand god saw everything and once you realize that god see everything god know everything you don't have to sit around and daydream and worry about what god is gonna do to people that have hurt you all you need to worry about and focus on right now is healing your heart. Because once again, this is somebody that is in shock. Okay. The watchmen came upon me and they made their rounds of the city. They struck me and wounded me and took my mantle from me. The guardians of the walls. I feel like this may be a situation where somebody, you know, you just feel like, your entire life was just taken away from you within the moment of this person deciding they didn't want to be with you anymore. You know, um, sometimes when we get in a relationship with somebody and we literally like encircle our entire lives around that person to such an extent that to be without that person, it can make you feel like, now what do I do with myself? I'm used to waking up with such and such. So what do I do when I wake up now? I'm used to waking up and cooking for my person. And now I don't have nobody to cook for no more. I'm used to um, going uh, and doing this with them. Maybe I'll go on walks. Maybe I'll go on picnics. Maybe y'all uh, like it, it's just like y'all have y'all routine about you. And without that person there anymore, it's almost like you're just like, so what? what do I do now? What's wrong? It's in there. I think. Okay, give me a second. I'll bring it to you. Okay. But it just puts you in a, a position to where you can literally just feel lost. It, it can really leave you feeling lost. It can leave you feeling lonely. It can leave you feeling all of these emotions. But, you know... In reality, I feel like once you realize that you did everything the right way, 
once you say, you know what, I didn't cheat, so I'm not going to be carrying on any guilt. I, I wasn't trying to uh, hide this and I wasn't trying to hide that. I wasn't trying to sneak anything around. I wasn't being fake about anything. So I don't have to feel guilty about that. I never um, mistreated my person. I never tried to hurt them. I never tried to intent. I, I never intended to break their heart. So I don't have to worry about that. Because you know when you do certain things to people, now you have to carry around that guilt. Now you have to carry around the guilt of cheating on somebody. You have to carry around the guilt of breaking someone's heart. You have to carry around the guilt. And, and when you treat somebody good, when you do somebody good, when you really 100% a good person, okay? Because I know me, I'm a good girl. I'm a good, I stay in the house all day. I don't, I don't cheat. I cook, I clean. Like, you know, I, I slip every now and again. I ain't going to act like I'm cleaning every single day, okay? Because sometimes it gets very tiring doing the same thing over and over again. But, you know, in reality, it's just like, I know that there are certain things that I don't do that in reality, you know, uh, there are things that I don't do. There are things that... I try to, I, I'm not the kind of person where I'm trying to go around and see what the next best thing is. Uh, like, you know, once I'm in a relationship, but at this case, I'm married and you know, that's it for me. I'm not trying to find no another man. I don't care about what my ex has got to say. I'm not trying to sit up and talk to my exes late at night. I'm not trying to chase them up and down the street. I'm not trying to see what they got going on in their life. It's not to say that I'm being mean. I'm not deliberately trying to be nasty to them. It's not that, you know, if I saw them hurt or something like that, I wouldn't help them. But in reality, it's no need for that relationship to carry on. And it's no need for me to be trying to build up new relationships with other men you know what i'm saying even in a sense of me being a prophet you know uh if i ever go to like a convention and i'm meeting other people who are pastors and prophets and they happen to be men that may be a business relationship but that's all it's gonna be i'm not trying to uh make no male friends because i'm married and i just feel like once you realize that you did somebody right you ain't do no wrong on your part. You ain't never tried to deliberately hurt anybody. You can walk away without feeling guilty. It's a certain guilt that you carry when you mistreat good people. And, you know, I just feel like that's the only thing that I can tell you as far as what this person is going to have to endure for how they went about this. Because it's a certain kind of guilt that attaches itself to your heart when you mistreat people that's not that that's good that didn't do you no harm that didn't do you nothing that's the message thank you guys for watching be sure to like share and subscribe oh y'all can't see my fingers